After the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas, this morning the Israeli military began carrying out strikes in Rafah, which is a sign of Israel's military operation in the region intensifying. ABC's Perry Russell reports. This morning, explosions in Rafah. The Israeli military carrying out strikes in the southern Gaza city, where more than one million Palestinian refugees are sheltering from war. Israel's military issuing an evacuation for parts of Rafah, signaling a ground invasion could be close. <laughs> this woman saying, I left my home and fled. I did not take one thing with me. People fleeing with whatever they could fit in and on their cars. <laughs> this man says Israel told people to go to Rafah and that it's safe. Today they're telling us to leave. Where will the people go? Today in Israel, sirens blared, traffic coming to a stop. The country observing Holocaust Remembrance Day, the first since the Hamas attack of October 7th. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the carnage of the Holocaust is incomprehensible. It equates to 5,000 October 7th. Over the weekend, Hamas releasing new video of rockets being launched into Israel. Four Israeli soldiers killed, 10 others hurt. Negotiations between Israel and Hamas apparently breaking down. Hamas delegation now leaving the meetings in Cairo after demanding Israel withdraw and stop its bombardment. No decision by any international forum will stop Israel from defending itself. President Biden and Netanyahu spoke on the phone this morning. The White House has said previously it's against any large military operation in Rafah, saying it could alter U.S. support. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. Now, that phone call between Biden and Netanyahu wrapped up about 90 minutes ago. We don't know the details of that phone call.